like kind of a role reversal for you? Um, I'm really enjoying it, actually, because uh, like I said, I'm just trying to immerse myself as a leader, so that's a part of it. Marquez, Coach uh, Jones, he singled you out in the spring press conference saying how hard you were working over winter workouts. How have you changed and how much stronger have you gotten in that short amount of time? Oh, Coach Lawson and Coach Hurry doing a great job with us, um, cutting off the fat and getting lean. That's what it's all about. Coach got you guys started with a couple of one-on-one uh, -on -one things this morning. Does it kind of energize you for the day? I mean, uh, that, that brings great energy. you you got to always come out with energy, period, but that's a great way to set it up. Justin Coleman took a ball away from you in that. How did you bounce back the rest of practice? Oh, it's just um, being competitive, going hard on every snap. Like you, It's going to be a winner and loser each play, so you just got to always um, bring it and then snap and clear. You were kind of the guy last year uh, as a freshman, even. You look around and there are more weapons around you. What does it feel like? Oh, it feels great. Um, Vaughn and Josh, they're going to be great players. I'm just ready to see them come out. When you look back at last year and what you accomplished, what did you think about your season? Did you know coming into it you are going to have that kind of an impact? Um, I'm just a hard worker. I was uh, real proud of the uh, freshman All-American accomplishment, but I mean, I, just, I still have higher goals for myself. And I'm just ready to achieve them. You, once, you, once you sat down and looked at that last year, what, what did you got, I guess see that you wanted to improve on over the winter break or the winter off season and stuff? I'm just going to improve on my fundamentals, um, route techniques, getting out of cuts, just receiver specific. Were you expecting the, you to blow up like you did after the fourth quarter catch against South Carolina? I'm not really. I'm pretty much a humble guy. Um, I stay grounded. I'm not. I'm not really into all that. And Coach Z talked about your relationship with Josh Malone. Just what kind of kid is he, and why? Why do you bond with him so quickly? Oh, uh, Josh Malone is a very competitive guy. Like he, he really reminds me of myself. I mean, we're in the same age group, but I still say that I really like Josh a lot. What are you seeing from the from the four quarterbacks? That their competitive nature and just how they're handling the, the competition. All of them are real competitive, and all of them have like great ability. I'm just excited to continue to watch the competition. Anybody throw an easier ball to catch? Um, not really. You know, it's just it's just all the same to me. I just catch the ball and run. That's, that's all I look forward to. You had so much success as a freshman. What what are you trying to do to improve? What do you want to do this fall? I really just want to like just immerse myself completely. Um, just to like I, I go hard every time and just get better overall. How easy has it been? To get back into things and compared to when you got here last um, August, uh, has it been easier to feel everything's like in the flow now already? It's, it's easier because I'm more comfortable. I've been in um, Coach Z and Coach Jake's system for a year, so it's just, I'm, I'm like really knowing all the positions, so I can get lined up anywhere and know what to do. How's that going with you and the, the, the newcomers in learning all the receiver positions? Oh, it's going way better because like when you know every position, you can't game, game plan for like just one person. You can just get put anywhere and still have success. Well, Chris, give us an example of off-season work, balls you caught, you know, what your regular routine was, some specifics about your off-season. Uh, really, I just hit the jugs every day. I get, I get, I actually get one hands in every day until I hit at least 21 hands during the off-season. I do tennis balls. I work on hand-out coordination a lot, too. Are you better one hands with the right or left? Or? Um, not really specific, but it just seems like it always goes to my left. I don't know why. Any one-handed catches show up today? Uh, I had about two, actually. That, that's kind of <laughs> ironic, but yeah, I had about two. All right. Well, you know, yeah. it's a little more chatter level between the receivers and the defensive backs now in spring than maybe last fall. It's just it's just competitive out there. Like, it's just fun to be out there. That's, that's what it's all about, the competition, having fun. Two Who, more. Who's the toughest DB you've gone up in uh, in spring so far? Um, they're, all, they're all pretty tough. They all got uh, different aspects to them, so I, that, that's hard to tell. Going up against Rehan, how do you think he's – Bounce back from the leg injury last year. I really love Ria. He got um, he got the heart of a line. Like go through what he went through and still have that mental toughness to come on and compete. Ria gonna be good.